guys, got another video review for you. This time we are taking a look at iGear's newest mini butt, mini dude, uh, Tune Raker, aka Beachcomber. I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, this guy sucks. Yeah, he's awful. So, this guy is an analog for Dune Raker, uh, for Beachcomber. Dune Raker, Beachcomber. Um, he does have a gun, and Beachcomber was a hippie. So, they put a flower in the gun, a little tiny flower. You pop it out, just a little flower. Keep forgetting to take the focus off. It's a little tiny flower. It goes right in the barrel of the gun. And he can have a hippie gun that you can put in people's guns that are trying to shoot you at protests. Yeah, 60s. Anyway, take the gun off. It's actually a very cool gun. I do like the gun very much. It has a 3mm clip here. So it clips onto uh, this thicker portion of the cage, roll cage. But uh, we'll just put that off to the side for now. Let's give him, let's take a look at him and then uh, do a little comparison. But uh, he is a dune buggy dude. Engine on the back. Uh, kind of long nosed. Little two seater. Uh, he is, does have a grill. It's very clean underneath, which is positive. But other than that, that's where the positivities end. So let's take a look at him with G1 Beachcomber right here. Uh, right off the bat, you can see the coloring difference. This is more show accurate. This is the toy. They are making another one of him to make him more toy accurate. And I will not be buying that because this thing is a pile of crap. Anyway, you can see he does have the uh, same roll cage, although the this section is a darker kind of gray. This is a light gray. But other than that, pretty similar. Obviously, this guy's a lot smaller. But yeah, let's put him to the side. And then let's transform this guy. Ridiculously simple transformation. He's going to come up here, unlock the legs, lift up on the, the cow catcher grill thing first, and then unfold the legs. Slowly, because the bold, the hips like they like to pop off the ball joints. Split the legs. Stand him up. Can't get him to stand. Lift up the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Um, pull the arms away from the body. Grab the hands underneath. Unfold them. Same thing over here. Take the engine block, fold it back all the way. This, um, I forgot to mention, the roll cage is removable. Don't know why you would want to, but it's removable. Fold the engine blo block all the way to the back, rotate the head around, and you are done with the transformation. And I can't get him to stand properly or to look normal because he sucks. He sucks. All right, let me let me not completely rant on this too much, or at least not yet. But articulation, head is on a ball. Shoulders can rotate around 360 and can go in and out, but you basically have to do it at this cut to get them to actually fold in like that. And then rot in the elbow is on a ball joint and you got this motion here for the transformation and nothing at the wrist. Hips are on a ball joint that like to pop off. These things pop off at the drop of a hat. Bend at the knee, cut above the knee, and nothing at the stomping boot of a foot with absolutely no heel. So, he has a hard time standing up as you can see. Getting him to pose properly is impossible. Okay, there. He looks kind of normal there, but now I can't get him to stand up because his feet suck. Ugh, his feet are terrible. Ugh, awful. Stick his gun in his hand. Definitely do like the gun, though. 
There he is with his gun. I'm gonna take his gun out because getting him to pose properly with it is pain in the butt. So let me do a quick compare. Well, yeah, let me do a quick comparison with G1 real quick. There he is with G1 Beachcomber. He's got more articulation. Obviously this guy's just a brick with rotating arms and bending knees. But I still like this guy a lot better. See the face is actually pretty similar. So yeah, let's put him to the side. And let's get on with this crap show of a figure. The other thing I wanted to show you first is the thinness of the plastic. I'm gonna take a flashlight and you can just see right through that. I mean this plastic is thin. The color is way too thin too. It's way too light. But you can basically see right through that. Terrible. I really don't know what iGear was thinking with this guy. They could have done so much better. Uh, the shoulders are terrible because basically they always look like crap. There's no way to pose his shoulders properly without him looking stupid because basically that would be normal. But then he has like these weird gorilla arms that he can't, he can only keep straight down in his sides. And you can start like bending them out like that and get them to look okay. But then you gotta start lifting them. And if you lift them like that, that looks terrible. And you can't pose him because his feet are terrible. His foot does not go out far enough and he has absolutely no heels. So he's basically, his feet are useless. Completely, completely useless. He's a floppy mess. These hips are way too loose. Especially this one. This one is way looser than this one. He can't stand because his feet suck. I'm very, 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 very disappointed in this guy. If you haven't bought him yet, don't. I haven't reviewed the Cogs figure yet, or Swerve, or well, I'm sorry, Veer, but that is a much superior mold. I love that mold, and I hate this one. I will definitely not be buying uh, the next coloring of him, because it, it's just a terrible figure. I can't believe how disappointed I am in this guy, but he's really terrible. Save your money. Don't buy this guy. If you're going to buy any of these mini warriors, buy Cogs. Cogs is cool. I'll be reviewing him hopefully soon. Can't even get this guy to pose and make him even look decent. Oh, he's awful. Sorry for all the negativity, but seriously, this guy sucks. Don't waste your money. Buy something else instead. And I'm not even going to ramble anymore because I'm just going to keep saying bad things and I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. So yeah, this has been the video review for iGear's Mini Warrior uh, Dune Raker. Piece of crap. Don't buy it.